Hey everyone, after five years of long service with my Karcher K4, it's time then to upgrade to the K5. So I'm just gonna do a little unboxing video here for you guys. Get rid of these. And here it is, all very neatly packed up in its little box. This is the compact version, so it's not the, the, the full control or the power control as they call the new ones. So, let's get this opened up and see how we build it. Video nozzle. Oh, that's the new capture. I won't be using that, but it actually looks pretty decent. New video nozzle. Capture gun, but it being the compact version, you don't get the, the the little LED lights that are on it, which is just a gimmick anyway, because it, you can't change it with that. It's not Bluetooth or anything as is some of the, the more expensive versions. You got all your instructions and your warranty. Keep them in the box. A new hose, which is, it just feels the same, just that sort of cheap thermal plastic hose. So I'll keep that. Don't throw anything away, me. And here we go. There we are. It is. It is born. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? So it's significantly smaller than the, the old K4. I don't know what half these bits are. Maybe you just got a, who knows. It's always best to read the instructions, I suppose, isn't it? But, that will just go in there. Handle attached. I think it's a really neat new design. Bits on the back there for the tools to store in. It's got a little kind of rubberized feet down there, or rubberized, so it just keeps them in. I'll just probably keep them in the box because I'll never be using these. I have my trigger gun to use with it. So let's get the hose attached, switch it on, see how it goes. Screws in here. Now I don't know why this bit here seems to just a bit rubber. Just goes around there clips onto that. Why? That's quite odd, isn't it? Get off position. Connect up the longer hose. If you remember back to my video on the K4, this was the direct hoses, flexi hose. It's 
fits straight in the top. Now this machine is designed to be used either flat or upright, whichever way you want. Slightly more powerful than the K4, slightly better flow rate. It's lighter, neater, more compact, able to take it with me on mobile jobs if I ever get any. Um, decided just recently that I wouldn't be going out and doing any, but you never know. If friends or family want something done, I can always take it in the car with me. It's always an option. And this little rubber thing that's on here, maybe just treat it with some garage therapy tire serum to keep the rubber in good condition. So I'll just get the cable released, switch it on, get the water supply in, and wash the car. Just get rid of all the the air from the pipe, make sure the water comes right through the machine. Just let the water flow for a few seconds before we switch it on. And then we're good to go. Nice and easy, straight out of the box, set up in about a minute or two. Really, really good. Now this machine itself normally costs around about £200. I got it slightly cheaper on a discount code. But for £200, to upgrade from the K4 to the K5, a really really nice compact piece of kit. So I think that should be enough. Let's see what the power's like. So that's basically it. You turn on the power. same as the K4, put in the nozzle and away we go. an idea of size this thing is absolutely tiny <laughs> compared to the K4 um, but yeah it's really good feels a lot more powerful as it should so let's just go and try it out in the car and see what it looks like Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. If you like the look of the Catcher K5, I'll pop links in the description below as to where you can get them from. I got mine from Tool Station, but Amazon sometimes has some really great bargains for it as well. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like. Drop a comment in if you want to comment on something, and please subscribe if you have not already subscribed. That's it. Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Cheerio, bye.